I greet everyone of you the sweetest name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus is coming very soon, we know. But we should take care of the word of the Lord by which he said, Many are called, but few are chosen. Peter also says in the second uh, uh, epistle that you and I should make sure that our calling is uh, sure. Yeah, even the Lord Jesus said, you take care of yourself. Jesus said, remember Lord's wife. Because it is easy to get fascinated by this world. He who is saving you, if you stop looking at him and you start looking at the world, finished. Today I prepared many slides. Throughout the week I was very, very busy. But yet, God had given me the grace to go on preparing slide after slide and slide after slide and making it perfect for presenting to you people. But unfortunately, uh, the brother, dear brother who was helping out in the display of the projector based uh, PowerPoint presentation, he could not make it for today. I desire each and every one of you also to get involved in this evening type of a YouTube uh, related targeted. Uh, yeah, because putting the lights on, operating the camera and addressing the mic system, these are small things which you can learn. You put your light off, you put your mixer on and off, like that it is a small thing. Unfortunately, we don't have the screen presentation for today. I hope you can see this. It is Church of Jesus Christ series episode 5. And uh, so we come to the verse Aisha 28.16. Therefore thus said the Lord God, Behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation a stone, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. He that believeth shall not make haste. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. See, this shows the heart of God. God is revealing that He is going to make a city in the future. It is, it is not in this present earth and heavens. But as the word of revelation is given to man, in a revelation we find that it is in the new heavens and in the new earth that this heavenly city which is prophesied here is going to come about. It is the city of the living God. See, can you just imagine the power of God? In order to... Robert has slides. Slides, huh? Shall we sing a song when uh, Roberts is going to set up the slides? So now it makes it a little easy for me to deliver the message. 
Because most of the message is based upon this uh, series of slides. I was feeling so sad for you. Because I thought you will be not able to see this. But now I am very happy. Because he is a God who said, Blessed are they who mourn, for they should be comforted. In that city, forever and ever and ever and ever, we will be going on praising and singing praises to God. Abraham was able to see that city. And to John the Apostle, an elderly person who was in the Isle of Patmos, he was able to see the city of God. And he has given us certain glimpses of them. We have seen here the walls of Jerusalem city, the heavenly Jerusalem. And they are made of precious stones. And the wall, the height of it is said to be 216 feet. Kiske, Divaron ki. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, uh, it is into this city that we are, you and I are going to be called forever and ever more. And it is made of very, very precious stone. Next. Next slide, please. Here I show so many, about 12 very, very precious stones. Jasper, Emerald, Chrysolite, Chrysopyrus, Sapphire, so, 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 12 very precious stones. Money, 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 God is such a great God. The length and the width and the height of the city we have seen earlier is 1400 miles. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The richest man I can say of the kings, Solomon, because of the help which his father David had collected, he was able to make a glorious uh, temple to the Lord God. And the high priest Aaron also on the breastplate, God had given him wonderful stones, twelve. And when we read in the book of Revelation 19, 21st chapter, 18 to 21, don't read it, but just tell it out. You can find so precious stones and gold and jasper that has been used in the construction of the foundation and of the walls and of the building of the city of God. How many believe that God will do that? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. See, man is in search of precious metals. He wants to find whether in the meteorites going around in the skies, whether there is some precious metals there. Even there also they are trying whether there are precious stones and metals there. Man is mad for this precious metal. Let us see the costs of metals here on earth. 
Here I have given a slide saying precious stones are costly. Here we find pearl. Is it so big? It is, I am showing it is a small, in the, between the two fingers it is there a small pearl. You know how much it is costing? One lakh thirty-six thousand nine hundred and sixty rupees. And can you see that uh, diamond there? You know how costly it is? Three hundred and forty-four crores, fifty-one lakh rupees. Crores. Or, or, or thirty-six. 36 lakh. How, how many of you have 1 lakh here? Tell me in the bank account. It is 344 crores and 36 lakhs. Even if the JLM church, all members' accounts, all the properties are sold, and we try to collect an amount to buy that gold, uh, that uh, diamond. A small diamond. And what is the foundations here in the city of God? Something more precious than even this diamond. 1500 miles. Abraham saw it. John saw it. And they believed it. Hallelujah. Turn the next slide, please. Here we see the slide, the costliest pearl in the world. Hyderabad is called the city of pearls. What I think is, even if you take all the pearls of Charminar and try to buy that pearl, you cannot buy it. Ten years ago, a fisherman in the city, in the country of Philippines, he found this pearl. He did not know what it was. He kept it under his bed for ten years. But when he was shifting his house, he thought, "What to do with this? Let it. Let me give it to the." city authorities. When they saw it, by the grace of God, none of them got a heart attack and died. It is 2.2 feet long or it is one foot in width or height and it is on the scale 34 kilos. I think some of our people here are not even 34 kilos here. And you know how much is its cost? It is 7 lakh 714 crores, 45 lakhs. Chauda crore. Chauda crore. Or chaun. Chauntalis, Chauntalis, Panchalis, Panchalis, See, this is the value of pearls. This is the costliest pearl as on present in this world. The kingdom of God is like and to a merchant man who is seeking goodly pearls is what the Lord Jesus has taught in Matthew 13th chapter 45th to 46th verses. That poor fisherman caught hold of a pearl of fish in its value he did not know. 
the Lord Jesus has said, it is the kingdom of God lays like a man, a merchant, who is knowing what the value of a pearl is. A merchant should know the value of anything. And this man finally discovered a pearl of very great value. And what did he do? He sold everything he had just to pull down. He sold his car, he sold his land, he sold his farm, everything, his gold, silver, everything, and he purchased that single pearl. And then what does the parable tree teach us? Did this businessman sell it for a profit and make a greater profit of it? Tell me, did he sell it? It is so valuable, he didn't want to sell it. He didn't want to lose it. He stopped his business thinking. He held that pearl tightly. People were asking him, I'll give you 20 crores of rupees. I'll, I'll give you 10,000 crores of rupees. He did not sell it. But he who does not know the value of that pearl, for 30 pieces of silver also he will sell it off as Judas Iscariot sold away his lord. Yes, that is the pearl you should know who that pearl is. That pearl is the Lord Jesus Christ. So let's clap to him. Hallelujah. 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 So Jesus is that pearl. And the question is, have you found your pearl of great value? The sign that you know its value is the way in which you deal with life. Lot did not know the value of Jesus. She was looking at the Sodom. The fire of God came and made her a pillar of salt. But those who know the value, those who were following the angel who has come to save them, they had life. Does your life reflect this truth? Are you running after worldly things? Or as Mary who gave her entire one year's uh, money to make Jesus a sweet smell, are you doing it for the gospel sake, giving for the gospel? Yeah, this is the value. If you know the value of that pearl of life, you will be willing to make him known to the world outside. And you will do whatever it is to exalt his name and his truth and salvation. Next slide, brother. Here we find Philippians 3, 7. We find the Apostle Paul who writes a nice sentence in that way in which he looks at all his earthly possessions. 
But what things were gained to me, those I counted loss for Christ, yeah, doubtless I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dung that I may win Christ. You will count your uh, bracelet, your golden earrings and your Santro car or whatever you have on this earth to be done. This is the true way in which God judges you and me. Are you using yourself and what you have for the glory of God? If you are not doing it, you are as that fisherman who doesn't know that value and for 10 years he has kept the costliest pearl under his bed. Proverbs 23-23 states this. Buy the truth and sell it not. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is the truth? Can you buy that? Is it anywhere in the market? But he's telling buy it. Even if everything you have, you have to sell it or to buy it, buy it. And secondly, not only buying it, don't sell it. Keep it, hold him tightly. Then you will get that eternal life he promised. He should be your first love and last love and middle love. He should be forever your love. Here we find the 12 pearl gates in the walls of heavenly Jerusalem. This is if you can slightly enlarge it in the WhatsApp or I am going to make a YouTube video of them and then it will be in greater clarity you can see that there are 12 gates of pearl in the walls of the heavenly city. And that of one pearl. Yes. Revelation 21-22. And the twelve gates were twelve pearls. Praise the Lord. Can you even imagine it? Where 34 kgs of pearl is costing 733 crores. Now you 1500 miles of wall and here there are three gates here on the east. The gate you know how 1500 miles so how big the gate is you first imagine. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And what is that pearl? How precious God is wanting to give us eternal life in such a nice, wonderful, costly city. See, God plans for all eternity. You know one thing in these stones, they don't easily crumble and become out of shape and crumble and become powder. A building is made for 100 years according 
to a man's building. After that, the cement and the iron, everything crumbles, they be, become weak and they are condemned. But the foundations and the city are of such precious metals and uh, gemstones. Forever and ever. I have read certain interpretations by different commentators regarding this, uh, whether it is true gold, true jasper and all. Some say it is there. Some very wise people on the commentaries, they say it is just symbolic, just figurative. But I say Amen to it, it is correct. Let us say this heavens and earth have gone away. And I am standing with my father. And he is going to create, while we are seeing a new heavens and a new earth. And just as John had seen it, we will also see with our eyes the new city, the Jerusalem, the holy city descending as a bride head on for her husband. In case I don't see that, I'll tell my father, my father, it is, it is written here like this. The, where is Jacinth? Where is Sapphire? Where is the transparent gold? My father, he will say, let it be so. Bus, enough. Is it anything difficult for the law? A pearl so big to form a single gate in it? So the Lord is coming soon. Many are called but few are chosen. But not everyone is going to be in the kingdom of heaven for thousand years on earth. And not everyone who takes the name of the Lord is going to stay in that holy Jerusalem, the new Jerusalem forevermore. Only if you and I consider our wealth, our uh, diamonds and gold as dung, then only your feet and my feet can stand in the feet of this Jerusalem which God has you will be walking on gold. <laughs> if you consider gold like that only, you can enter into that. Pearls do not keep quiet. That 34 kg of pearl did not start as a 34 kg pearl. It just started as a dust of sun. And it went and went on, went on and became 35 kilos. Our beloved Jesus, He might be as a small sun in your knowledge of Him. But let it not be like that. Let it grow. He is the pearl of life. Let him grow in us. And as Paul has said, it is no longer I that liveth, but Christ liveth in me. Let that pearl of Jesus be in you, form in you, grow in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is the parable of the 
kingdom of the pearl i do not know when we have started this message probably at 7:30 Yeah, I'm glad that one hour we have finished all this. We have gone to the depths of the ocean where pearls are found. The 34 kilos of uh, pearl was found in the ocean, depths of the ocean. And in one hour's time we have gone to the heights of heaven, seeing the new heavens. Abraham has seen it. Abraham dekhe. John has seen it. I am seeing it. I am seeing it. And all of you are also seeing it here. <laughs> Let us love our Lord. Let us live for Him. Let, Let us serve Him. And let us receive his blessings. Let us pray. Let us pray. Let us pray. Let us pray. Beloved Father, thank you for talking to us about your heavenly city. Help all of us to be the dwellers of your holy city and have life eternal. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.